Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition with Legendary Difficulty and Survival Mods. I'm your host, Color Fade. It's episode 18. And Stenvar and I are ready to go to Solitude. The Dark Brotherhood has delivered their note. Don't get too far ahead. And they're ready to take us <clears throat> and take us to Astrid. So before I do that, I wanted to make potions. And we'll switch back. <clears throat> Stuff there. Alrighty. In order to trigger this, all we have to do is sleep. And then, so since we're fat, since we're not using fast travel, because we're using survival mods and we've turned fast travel off, so the only way we can fast travel is via carriage or special quests like this. And that's what makes this fun, is because this is one of the special times in the game that you can you can fast travel. We're going to end up over by Solitude, where we're going to spend a considerable amount of time. Sleep well. Oh, Astrid. Does it matter? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod, hmm? Half of Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage. Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old Crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight... Mm, problem. You see, that little Aretino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me and my associates. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. Well now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from... Well, that's not really important. The here and now. That's what matters. You see, there's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, oh, which one? Go on. See if you can figure it out. Make your choice. Make your kill. I just want to observe. And admire. Perfect. Am I to take your silence as acceptance? Then you know where we stand. Make your kill and we're square. Repayment of your debt is but a discreet knife thrust away. <clears throat> so there they are, the three of them. But we're gonna kill Astrid. No, in the past when I've done this, what I've really liked to do is, uh, I if I'm going to be on the Dark Brotherhood side, I just kill all three of them. That's the only way to be sure. Nuke the site from orbit, right? Well, so she's immune to everything. Hmm. Astrid appears to be immune to every single thing. There's no way to kill her. She has, I don't think any of these things work against her. I'm going to try Ravage Health, but nothing seems to work. So, plentiful stamina. I don't have, I have anything that's regenerate stamina. So, regenerate health. Solution of health. That'll work go with this. And I'm going to switch to... Ice form doesn't work against her. Unrelenting force might. Oh my goodness. She can do so much damage so fast. It's amazing. really have to be prepared. Yeah. 
Okay, now I gotta restore as much stamina as possible. healing as soon as she strikes me like that. It's the only way to do it. And Astrid's down. Oh, so great. Oh, abandoned check key. I'm just going to take everything. She's got all the stuff. It's worth a whole bunch of money. Oh, okay, that's over. She doesn't have anything in this box, does she? Nope. Oh my goodness. That is on legendary difficulty where she's immune to everything. She's immune to ice form. She's immune to paralysis. You just have to fight her. And that's, that's tough. I can't believe I got through that on the second try. That was kind of a miracle. All right. Now we're here. Now we're here and we have quests in this region. There's Ustengrav and there's Fulgunther. So if we go down here. Forbidden Legend and Horn of Jurgen Windcaller. They're right there and there. And we're very close to both of them. So we're going to head east. And our friend Stenvar should show up any minute. He's going to come running from somewhere. Our ally will always catch up to us. It's just a matter of time. Where are you, Stenbar? There you are. I see you. Finally. All right. Good job, dude. He's here. Good. Now we can get to business. Get down to business here. I don't like to freeze. So that's a <clears throat> when you're playing survival mode with frostfall installed. That's one way to to deal with that. And not end up freezing to death. Use your shout. There's always a chorus reapers, charus reapers. I guess might be the other way to pronounce that. But they're always around. See, so you kind of have to keep your head on the swivel. And then there's these idiots. Where did that come from? Where's that necromancer at? Stenvar, what are you doing? Okay, there she is. Goodness. Taking the hits. Let's go for health and... Expert conjuration requires 75. What about mystic binding? Bound weapons do more damage. Bound weapons cast soul trap. Don't care about that. Greater duration for reanimated dead. I definitely want that. Power attack, no good. Stenbar in all this. There he goes, he's done because she got killed. Stenbar, what are you doing? She has a chicken's egg. La Tita. Death Bell, great for making the slow potion. Does the next guy show up right there? The lockpick is all you got out there. This is always a nice little place. There's always a few butterflies around. I really don't know what happened to Stenvar there. 
Oh. Lord. Well, hopefully he'll catch us when we zone in. Four o'clock in the afternoon. Five o'clock. This fella, your oh, I don't have enough magic to cast that as a dual cast. That's kind of amazing. Early though. Boost and grav. So here we go. We'll go get the horn of your good wind collar. This isn't difficult. Stenmar, is that you? Are you here? Yes, you are. Good job. Did our guy not come in with this? That's all right. It's okay, because now things are really going to get crazy. There's a, oh, there's people fighting. Oh, I was uh, shooting at these folks. And at Highwayman. I really don't care who I hit. Necromancer Adept, that's always fun. Guys, they're all busy doing their own thing, and they don't. Stenvar, are you over there fighting them now? Kill the necromancers first. Is that? Is everybody dead? Stand by you over there in the corner doing. I don't know what you do. You're by yourself doing something. Staff of the familiar. Oh wow. Summons of familiar is worth almost a thousand. Yees. This is what I like seeing. Is things like that. Soul gems. Soul gems make everything better. All right. Cloaks. Orcish bow, not worth enough to pick it up. But that cloak is. And some Nord mead. Oh, he had ale too. Bread? I'll bet some of these artifacts would fetch a good price. I hope they're not cursed. I hope you're ready to fight because so far it hasn't seemed like you've been. Ready to go, Stanvar? Come on. Let's get busy. You go to work then. I'm going to stand back here a little more. There we go. Stanvar, get in there. I might shoot some things. Oh, he's got a dog. go after each other. Yeah. 
There you go. Now she's in. Get that person in there. Give me some more magicka. And then stay out of the way and don't get killed. Dead? We do it? We dead at the whole thing. Everybody's dead. Oh, oh, and there's a staff. I couldn't. It's got a staff of flames. Sworn I heard something right behind us. Oh, stand more. Excellent. Alright, so we got through one of the harder parts of this dungeon. I'd like to clear out this room. You can do it on the way back, of course. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I like to do it on the way down. Oh. The mystery of Talana. Or however you pronounce that. I have to say I'm really bad at pronouncing names and especially fantasy names. I'm just kind of the worst at it. Say the, the English language. Did I just pick up something I didn't want to pick up? Did my balloon crystal shard lantern oil and the aliens mixture spoil a few? We don't care about that. I know I picked up something that I didn't care about there. Yeah, there's something about the English language and uh, the way it handles names. It's just. We're warm. And we got our conjured guy, and we have. There was one more person out here we killed. Let's check everybody. Tombstone ceremonial greatsword. Yes. That is a very nice sword. Oh, and she's got a soul gem. Excellent. Lightning rune. She has lightning rune? Did, didn't we already buy that, though? Okay, I'm liking all of that. And he had three things on it. Who else is left? Okay, let's conjure somebody. And get going, that was pretty awesome. That's cool. Tombstone Ceremonial Great Sword is so nice. It, I mean, it's just one of those really unique weapons, like this one was, that has a really nice aesthetic to it. From This comes from Unique Weapons. What do I have? Oh, wait, I know what I have. Let's do this. This usually makes it easy. Okay. That, that's usually enough to set... Oh yeah, that's usually enough to set enemies off if you cast a light over into their area. Yes, I'm greedy. I'm gonna pick up every single one of these. And then there's a chain. If I remember correctly, though, there's mm, there's a minimal treasure in this box. It gives you the noise like there's something big in it, and it's like, oh, there, yeah, there's two gold and a potion of vigorous healing. That was a long secret chamber for very minimal gain. I'm, I'm always surprised that there's not something more in there. 
it's kind of, some kind of really nice weapon or something. Okay, here it comes. Alright folks, go, 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 go. Gadget mobile, go in there, get him. Stenbar is gonna have to chase this guy all over the place. around here. Nope. Antique still sword. What do we got from you, Scott? Bone meal arrow. Let's roll. Yes. Mm -mm. Let's drink a little bit out of your water. Skip. They did such a good job with all of these barrows and dungeons. I wonder what the ancient Nords did in these ruins. Unspeakable sacrifices, maybe? Maybe just toga parties. I kind of feel like we're... Oh yeah, this is cool. This is so cool. This is always one of the neater zones in the game because of the, the way it's set up and you get these pretty big majestic views in it. It's I dig it a lot. There you are. Sorry, Stenbar. I was halfway through my attack when you did that. I don't fall down. Don't fall down, yeah. I'm. I just give a lot of credit to Bethesda. I mean, I know that they, in particular, as of late, they've done some pretty crappy things as a dev studio. But when it comes to the Elder Scroll series, I feel like they've, uh, they've always done right by the series. I'm, I'm really hopeful that the Elder Scroll Six is just going to be a fantastic single player experience and not not some other piece of garbage that falls prey to some of the more recent practices that have become common in the gaming industry that have raised so much ire and I hope I hope Fallout 76 is a lesson for Bethesda. I hope they learn something from that. And what I hope they learn is that they're really good at doing fantastic single player games and they shouldn't be worried at all about people saying, oh, I wish I could play Skyrim with somebody else. You know, don't worry about it. There are, there's criticism that you should listen to, and there's criticism that you should ignore. And there are feature requests that you should ignore. And if anybody says, man, Elder School 6 would be so cool if I could play it with my friend, you know what? Just tell them to shut up. 
and be quiet and let you make an awesome single player experience that, that most of us are going to relish and cherish and play over and over and over and over and over again for a very long period of time. Of course, they're filled with traps too. I hope I hope Bethesda learns the right lessons from Fallout 76 and that is ignore dumbass requests like that. All the people clamoring, I want to be able to play Fallout with my friends. Yeah, good job. All 12 of you guys, or however many you are, you can pay $100 for for your own private server. But where Bethesda has always traditionally been the strongest is just making great single player games that have really strong mod support. And that's what they honestly need to just focus on with Elder Scrolls 6. In the base game, when you're playing on Adept, lighting that stuff on fire actually, actually pretty much puts those guys down, but not here. Oh, you guys are going to go after that other guy. He ran. He got lit on flame and ran like a coward. Maybe you will. You gotta catch him first. Yeah, I'm gonna let Stenbar go after that guy because there's there's nothing Stenbar can do that it's gonna make a big difference. I wanna make sure I come in here and gather up any other loot that there was. There was none. I was there. You come down those steps. Oh, there's this. That's right. There's this. And there's another. Knob somewhere else, right there. Because you can't have enough soul gems. An iron tunnel. No need. Alright, now we can catch up to Stenbar. Hopefully, he's plunged his sword into the heart of that Draugr by now. There you are. fall off this ledge, but I do want to... Let's do this. Where is everybody? Are they all dead already? Did you go kill them, Stenbar? Go oh, yeah. Apparently he did. Oh yeah, he did. They're all dead down here, they? Okay, well, we're gonna get what we came for. I'm not worried about any of the rest of this. You guys, you guys handle these skeletons. I have business to attend to. like this because this is one of the this is one of my favorite words my favorite shouts fade become ethereal I love it it's just incredibly useful in a variety of situations it's particularly useful against dragons when you're out in the open and you don't have anywhere to block yourself from their their flames and they're about to fire breathe on you and you can hit become ethereal and, and uh, it has no effect which isn't as big of a deal on the easier difficulties in the game but when you're playing legendary getting caught out in the open against a dragon is not advisable and you need to take advantage of every tool that you can in your in your tool belt to, to deal with them, and that means obviously resist potions and resist gear, but become ethereal is a nice last split second
tool if you're about to get breathed on or even chomped. skeleton back there. Stenmar wants to deal with it, he can. He didn't end up down here. That's oh, alright. I just want to get the sprint going. It's it's weird how it does that twice. It jumps that twice. And that that's why that particular that particular obstacle there took me forever to figure out how to get across because you can only shout once. I don't know why it's configured to work that way in that particular spot. Why the devs decided to do it that way. I don't know. But we'll do this. Take care of that with our trusty bow. Flames. They kill more things with my destruction. There we go. Increase that. Up. 19 is all. Stand by, you're taking it on the chin, man. There it goes, here it comes down. Man, get up there. What the hell? Oh my gosh. It's the last thing I wanted to spend potions on. Do I have a potion of resist fire? Oh, I'm pressing the Z key and I can't shout. Because now I can't shout at all. For some reason. Can it change shouts while shouting? I'm not shouting. Sometimes this bug, get, this game gets bugged with shouts, and it just drives me nuts. Because it ha it seems to happen at the most crucial times in the game when you absolutely need a shout, and then you can't do it. And I don't know what's up with that. I really, I hate that. I wish there was a a way for that to not happen. That's really annoying. You know, and that happens to me more than once, and I really don't like it. Hey, here we go. One of the great moments in the game, actually. These things are supposed to go straight up, and instead they moved sideways. That's a that's a unique bug. Do we know what that is caused by? Could could that be? Uh, that's the first time I've ever seen that happen, and I have the same number of mods and the same types of mods that I've that I've pretty much always used for a really long time. So I don't know what caused those to move horizontally instead of vertically. That's that was really bizarre. Never seen that before. Huh. I see I'm pretty disappointed in that. And Orcish Gauntlets of Eminent Archery. Oh. Those could come in handy.
And this is why I liked cleaning that room earlier because we transitioned to it and, and now we're done. We don't have to worry about picking up anything else. We're done. It's really late at night. My character has not complained about needing sleep yet. Which is kind of bizarre. We slept for one hour. Stay dead. Yeah, bandits do know when to stay dead, which is right at the moment that you kill them. They stay dead until you do this. So, so. Alright, so. We've dealt with that. Oh, and I forgot there's this area up here. There's this guy. He has nothing useful, but he's got. Potions next to him. A lot of potions that I'll probably just end up selling. Who are you? Nobody. You are nobody. Nobody important at all. I hear the sounds of my jogger breathing down my late at night but there is a fire over here and a place to sleep so that's what I'm gonna do until sleep for about six or seven hours so now we can go after the second Galder amulet a little food so let's save first your cheese wedge, worker stew, soup. Some black brown meat, Mr. Hex. So Stenvar and I are going to make our way over to Full Gunther. I've already tried to get over there one time and I died at the hands of a Charis Reaper. Because Stenver was off doing something else by himself. <clears throat> and I'm not exactly sure what he was doing. All I know is he wasn't there when I needed him. And that's no way to treat your companion. Are you still with me, Stenvar? Okay. So when this Charis Reaper comes up this time, I want you to there. That's the only, only thing I hate about running around this this area out here is the Char Reapers. They just they eat you so darn fast. to full gun there. Yeah, it, it killed my fire atronach very quickly too. Of course, the game spawns everything randomly, so... Oh yeah, this is it. This is where I was. Down here. There it is. Okay, I need you to get over there, Stenvar. Because I cannot kill this thing by myself. It's not possible. If you're going to crush it like a bug, I suggest you get over there and do it.
Where is Stengar? What is he doing? Stenbar. What is he doing? He is the worst teammate ever. I'll tear you to pieces. I don't know who you're going to tear to pieces because you're not doing anything. You're not even shooting this thing. You are turning out to be way worse than Lydia. Fire you. Stenmar's all talk. Kill this thing, come on. Oh my gosh, what's going on now? Stenbar. Oh great, spider. Darn it, why does it keep doing the double take? Oh, I don't understand that. Why does it keep doing that? I'm trying to cast a spell, so cast it. Gosh, this thing, this could, this could all be over. Oh, you, you clean missed it, man. Come on. It can't be a kill shot unless it's actually going to hit it. Oh my gosh, come on. Where's it at? Oh my gosh, and now there's a frostbite spider coming. Oh my lord. I'm just I'm done with this charge. Oh my gosh. I've had enough of that. I've had enough of that. Sten Stenbar, come on. Man. This could have been hours. This could have been done so long ago if you would have just done your damn job. But no, not Stenbar. <gasps> I'm replacing Stenbar as soon as I possibly can. That guy is a loser. Not available. You know what? Availability is a huge part of the equation, man. After years of searching, I finally traced the ivory claw to a collector in Braville. His death was necessary, but I have it. Last, I have it. Alright. So here we go. We're gonna... Do anything around here we can, and then... Not camp there. We're cold. We're gonna get inside. I'm gonna get inside and then Stenvar and I. Useless Stenvar. That's his new name, Useless Stenvar. Stonework, gold, traps, and bones. 
and we will do this on the next episode. So, folks, thanks for watching. As always, if you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel. If you have a question or comment, drop it down below. Stenvar and I, useless Stenvar, will go down here and grab the Galder Amulet. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.